Mr. Vino Anand asked the question, how are you dealing with item return? Which address do you provide them for them? Now, obviously, when it comes to dropshipping and you are going to get one or two items returned from your customer, and the customer presumes you are the seller, so you it's your responsibility either to um, replace the item for them or to refund them. And it's up to you how do you do it. And it's completely up to you whether you make a loss or not loss. That's the one thing in dropshipping. Right, because you don't have the physical product. So what you, what you would normally do if in the case of crisis where the customer wants a refund or um, he, he doesn't like the product, he wants to send it back to you. So what you do, you go back to your supplier who you used in the first place. So for example, uh, I use quite a lot of domu.co.uk, this company in the UK. They're quite good. So every time if anything arises, I ring them up. Then this is their telephone number here. They open from midnight. There we go. And they're very good. They will send me um, return label address by email and I will email the address to the seller. And the seller will put on a label. The courier will go and pick it up and it'll come back to Domu and Domu will refund me in return. If that's the case or vice versa, if you want to uh, renew a um, if you want to re replacement, they will do the same if there's a problem. So Domi is always good. You can get somebody on hand. Right. Whereas with Amazon here, what you have to do, you have to log into your order page on Amazon. Okay. Here I have uh, one or two product I bought myself. Okay. So that is my name here. As you can see, I just bought a couple of these items for myself. Right. If, if I didn't like the item, there's anything problem with the item, all I do, uh, look here, track budget, return or replace, look. Right. So obviously, here on this, on top of here, where my name is, you will have the address. If I put the mouse up, that will reveal my address. But that will be the person you sold the item to. So here, you come to return or replace, right? And then it'll give you a drop down menu here. Choose a response. And from this response, you choose one, whatever the customer told you to. So if the customer says item defective or doesn't work, you press this item or missing part, whatever it is they put down and they tell you. So you do that. And here, they will be asking for item decide your does it work. Now they will probably want to describe what's wrong with the item. Just put down does not work. Doesn't oh, I spelled it wrong, did I? Anyway, don't worry about this. Uh, doesn't work. Okay, so we've done that. So you come back here and you click continue. Right now, here, another place you now you can order a replacement free of charge or refund. So if you want to put refund or replacement, and if you click continue. It'll give you your card number too. If you want a refund, you give you a card number. If you want a replacement, then obviously they will replace it to your customer. And that's how you tend to to. This is how the normal procedure is. How to do a return. So basically. If they want to return the item, then Amazon will provide you with the label and you even email the label to the person and the person sticks on the label. Amazon parcel guys goes up and picks it up and take it to the Amazon factory. They check it out and they will refund you again. Simple. Okay. And I hope that answers your question.
So the basically, as you get more and more experience on selling on dropshipping, you it makes it easier. It becomes easier. But um, it's not that difficult once you know how, and it's so easy, simple. If you're dealing with a major, major company, big, big companies, you haven't got any problem. I never had any issue with uh, Amazon or Domi, for example, and I use them both. So, yeah, I did have a few issues with returns, and we've, um, we can, and in fact, uh, let me show you one I had a problem with. Right, this is the same uh, issue I had once. I sold this item, um, oil field radiator, uh, for, I think, $69.95. I sold this radiator once. And what happened? Dormu.co.uk sent uh, the, the buyer a wrong item. This They sent a total different item than what I ordered. And there was a bit of confusion. So what happened? The the customer, uh, instead of sending it to Domi because he didn't realize, he sent it to me the other the other um, radiator back to my address. So I had to go back to Domi again and replace this order. And, and they send this oil field radiator to the the original customer again, and the one who came to me, I had to get Domi to send me another label to send it back to them. So in order, everybody, everything was happy. The customer was happy because he's got his item back again. And I was pleased that I could have helped the guy because there was a little confusion. Instead of sending, it was obviously it was Domi's fault. They sent him a wrong radiator and they sorted it. So. In fact, I showed you in real life, this can happen. And then let me show you what this customer has wrote. And this is what the customer wrote, look. See, oil, oil filled radiator, 11 fan, this is the one I showed you. Great communication, received different item, but correct item came next day, brilliant. This is the same item was in question great communication it received this an item where the correct item came next day brilliant so that's how i solved it i realized the mistake they'd done the customer realized the mistake i got on to domi.co.uk got them to send them and uh, replace the one which they did and they got, uh, got them again to send me a label to send it to the customer which i did and everything was punky dory everything was happy so sometime when it comes to that kind of um, uh, a confusion, you can always, always resolve it. But, you know, don't, it's not the end of the world. You need to cool down, calm down sometime and think what you're going to do, right? Don't panic and take your time. So basically, the moral of this story, the thing you have to do, if anything clocks up or mucks up in dropshipping or somebody asks for a return, this is what you do normally. Go back to your supplier and ask them to send you a return form, which they will. And then you email the return form to the customer. Customer puts the label on, whether it's Amazon, Domi, Costco, whoever. And the suppliers, courier company will go and pick this up and take it to their warehouse. And then in return, they will refund the money, your money. And then, obviously, if the customer wants to return, you return the money first, and then the company will return you in turn, vice versa. So that's how it works. So, you know, you, any business, anything you do in life, there's always going to be ups and downs. So, it's best 
sometime all you need to do come yourself and deal it in a general manner uh, don't upset the customer right so thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos please please click like subscribe and comment button I hope I give you now a bit of info so even look even in the real not even drop shipping in the selling normally in the way I get returned sometime okay Anna there's a case you are always gonna get it so if I log into my main eBay account I'll show you uh, one problem I had recently I know this video is dragging a bit long but hopefully you'll learn something out of this okay this is a normal my uh, eBay account okay if I go to all orders let, let me track this order down to show you okay now here I go uh, Piero Converse All Star see is that that pair? yeah this is the pair I sold that pair for $29.99 okay now you went to uh, one of these lockup addresses somewhere and I don't know what happened the guy didn't even come and pick it up or he didn't like it there was he, he there was no mention about liking or disliking and he decided to put a uh, return case with eBay and he returned the items without any explanation there was nothing wrong with the item absolutely nothing wrong with it and he decided he wants to return the item and of course he has the right and I without any question I've seen as I received this I refunded the chap so there you go so even in the normal eBay selling platform you're gonna get some returns so some people just buy it on impulse and then realize they don't want it and they will come up with any excuses just to get you know return the item and to get the refund so I hope um, I hope this video has helped you out of it. Uh, if you has, then please click like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.